Black Ops Cold War Zombies has been revealed, or at least teased. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be talking about that in this video because, man, I'm pretty hyped and, uh, yeah, I kind of just want to get my thoughts out there. So let's, uh, you know, just jump straight into it. So basically, we started off with the Juggernaut jingle, which is a very nice thing to hear, honestly, because that was kind of what was missing in Black Ops 4. And here they are. They bring it back. Thank you so much, Twerk. I appreciate that. And I'll love you forever. The next thing that they also brought back was the Monkey Bombs, the OG ones, the blue hat. Who knows if it has the Group 935 logo on it, but uh, we'll just see as time goes on. And another really interesting thing is, like, uh, you're here with the M1911, and what essentially kind of looks like Nocturne and Toten. Apparently, it actually is Nocturne and Toten, according to the Long Sensation or Tom Henderson on Twitter. Noct is going to be reused by the Russians for their nuclear program. The Nazi zombies escape and infect the site. There's apparently going to be Russian and Nazi zombies. There's going to be a new crew. Old weapons from World War II are going to be attainable on the site. And you start with the flashlight until you turn on the power, which is actually pretty interesting. That's also something I kind of want to touch on later. And going back to Nocturne Toten, there's a lot of interesting things we can make out from this. So on the wall, there's actually some graffiti with a menacing looking bunny and a zombie wearing a wig. I don't know if that really means much of anything, but uh, that's there. However, if you think about it though, let's take a look at that location. What else would usually be there? Exactly. The phrase salvation lies above. So on Nocturne and Toten, there's these chalk letters that are on the walls that said, you must ascend from darkness and salvation lies above. And it actually appears that the graffiti essentially covers that exact spot, which is kind of sus, TBH. That's why I'm kind of curious if the other chalk writing is actually written over as well. We're just gonna have to see. There's also a weird looking galaxy arrow, which to me kind of looks like it's made up of element 115, kind of. I'm not too sure that could be a complete stretch. Let's be completely real. And on the stairs, we see a phrase that says a world that is not my own. Could this mean that the characters that we're gonna be playing as is essentially gonna be pulled in some sort of alternate reality where essentially they get put into ether and you know all of that sort of stuff happens i have a feeling that this is a spin-off of the ether storyline just from what we're seeing that just seems like what it really is and there's also been a lot of talk about these specific frames during the teaser trailer and we're gonna get into that right now so this appears to be a guy who's wearing a tie however that's actually not the case because if we flip it over and go to the black ops 1 campaign during a cutscene and take that picture and overlay it on top it's a perfect match it's steiner from black Black Ops 1. And there's a lot of other images that are like that as well. We also got this pupil dilating and it actually matches up once again with part of the cutscene in Black Ops 1. So what does this mean? In my personal opinion, I think it's going to be essentially a new story involving the original Black Ops 1 campaign and essentially kind of merging it with the Ether storyline. This is something that we've never seen before, but we've seen it being hinted a lot throughout the time of Zombies. And I think this is the first time we're going to be really seeing this come to fruition. Even Weaver appears in this trailer. And does anyone really know what happened to Weaver? Uh, I don't think so. But like I said about Weaver, we see him in this trailer, and that essentially confirms that he may or may not be a playable character in this mode. There also seems to be a new female character. We're not completely sure who she is, but she appears to be Helen Park from the Black Ops Cold War campaign, so I wouldn't be surprised if she makes an appearance as well in Zombies. So going back to the Monkey Bomb clip, as you guys can see, there is a big bomb being built, and appears to be still being built. You can also see another galaxy arrow over there, possibly pointing to power, like usual. And people think that this area is the power station from Transit. I mean, I guess I could kinda see the resemblance there, but if we're being completely real here, I mean, it doesn't really look like Transit all that much. I mean, hey, I'll give it the benefit of the doubt that it is Transit, but let's just be honest with ourselves here. It's kind of a far-fetched idea. 
but it will be interesting nonetheless if it actually comes to fruition. And coming back to this shot of the zombie coming to slap the player, some really smart people on the COD Zombie subreddit essentially were able to piece together that this spot that you're seeing right here is actually the same spot you're going to be seeing on the main menu of Black Ops Cold War Zombies. So as you guys can see, there's three certain things that appear in there. And they also appear in that shot of the zombie. So, mad props to the COD Zombies community. Honestly, they're just absolutely insane. So guys, that was my little breakdown of the zombies tease at the end of the multiplayer trailer. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pretty freaking hyped for this game. And there's a ton of freaking things they can do with it. And, in my opinion, it's an E3 reboot. Just from what we saw, we heard the Juggernaut jingle, and we also saw the monkey bombs and heard them. So, that kinda confirms that Ether's back. It may not be back in its original form, just as I said, it might be a campaign crossover. And if you guys really like that idea, you know, tell me down in the comments. So anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did and you want to see some more Call of Duty videos on this channel, make sure to drop a like, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks all for the support of my recent video though, and thanks for the subs. Make sure to subscribe too. On the road to 300 subscribers, thank you very much. Bye-bye.